what's going on you guys so what we're gonna do today is uh, I'm just gonna share a little bit about what I do and how I do my uh, water changes on the 125 let's get started Alright guys, so what I got here is my uh, 125. I have a thousand gallon power tank a uh, pump into the tank uh, It's already set up. It's already plugged in hoses all connected already. You guys can kind of see the setup there uh, It's connected to my garden hose of course and it runs all the way into my laundry room, okay? And uh, excuse the mess in the laundry room, but it is uh, my laundry room so uh, anyways and uh, runs into the utility sink and it just you know comes pouring out like that okay so what I do is uh, I have a, a two-way splitter here and that is where I actually hook the hose up to when I fill it and check the water temperature as I'm filling it uh, which I'll show you guys that in a little bit but uh, that's how I drain it okay and it makes it super fast as you guys can see in the hyperlapse okay um, it's very 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 quick and uh, once I'm done draining it I unplug the pump and uh, that way the pumps is not pumping anymore of course there's still some siphoning so this is where I check the water temp to make sure that uh, it's as close as possible to the uh, temperature of the tank so that it doesn't shock the fishes I uh, once when I'm filling it up I'm actually watching the temperature on there to make sure that you know it does stay the same um, usually it's pretty good so uh, it never you know if, if anything changes it might be like one degree or something like that but it doesn't affect the fishes um, and then I turn it on back on and uh, I go and uh, prime the uh, put secant prime into the tank also at the same time okay so as you guys, you guys can see it fill it back up it's pretty it's very very quick I never remove the pump from the tank I leave the pump in there and everything I just like I said I just have it unplugged uh, it doesn't hurt the pump I've been doing it like this for a long time it makes it quick easy and nice and you know you don't have to do a lot of connection disconnection type of thing so uh, once it's done uh, dr uh, filling up what I do is I raise the hose higher than the tank so I don't make a mess I crack the connection open to drain the water back into the you know in the line into the tank all right so that's what I'm doing here and now uh, once it's all drained what I do is I disconnect it I have a bucket down there which I'll show you guys in a little bit and uh, I drop the hose into the bucket um, and I just you know usually I roll up my uh, garden hose but uh, I'm actually doing multiple uh, tank water changes so what I'm what I did is just I just moved that hose to the uh, next tank okay and so uh, coming up here I you know remove the pump uh, from the tank carefully so I don't make a mess okay and I just kind of shake off all the water and then I put that pump into a bucket that is right below the tank so that I don't make a mess so my wife doesn't kill me right um, and uh, you guys will see um, I put the you know put it into the bucket and then I just move on to the next tank or I just put it away all right and uh, I always have a you know the bucket there and a uh, towel to make sure I have in case I have any mess And so that's how I do the water change on the 125. Uh, I don't know how any, everyone else does it. Everyone does it different, but that works. that's what works for me. That's what makes it super fast. I mean, I get my water changes done in like 15, 20 minutes. Um, I have, you know, four or five tanks. So usually that takes me an hour, hour and 15 minutes and all of them are done. So, all right, guys, that's my time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.